Rings Creator Ones. It's Melissa D'Antoni, founder and director of Fire Tree Studios and master creative catalyst. And I'm home in Austin for a couple weeks, taking a break off of the Freedom of Expression Tour. I've had an absolute blast. It has been so much fun. The first stop was in Rowayton, Connecticut at the Rowayton Art Center. We had 12 brave, beautiful souls who dove into their creative process and ignited their own inner fire and painted from their own inner passion. It was so, so, so fun to share that with the Rowayton community in this beautiful studio overlooking um, Long Island Sound and um, really, really just such a joy um, to connect with everyone there. And then last week I just got home from Boulder, Colorado, where I had the privilege to co-facilitate with Pam Simich, who has been an apprentice with me in the Fire Tree Method over the last year. And um, we co-facilitated a class in her home studio in Boulder, Colorado, which is beautiful. It overlooks the mountains and um, really just an inspiring place. And again, we had an incredible group of brave souls who really um, just jumped right in. And um, I, I really want to celebrate Pam's completion of the training. She is now certified, I had the honor of certifying her last week in Boulder in her home studio. Um, she's currently available teaching classes in the Boulder community at her studio there and um, also available for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, so super excited, I wanna congratulate Pam uh, so much on her certification. And I'm taking a little bit of break, but I want to, before I talk about where I'm off to next, I want to talk about the creative process and a couple things that I've been seeing coming up in the studio as I've been teaching and in different people's paintings. Um, and the concept really is, and I, and I want to invite everyone to think about this, it's like, can you allow yourself to go big? Can you give yourself permission to take up space? in your painting, in your life, can you really allow yourself to fully express all of who you are and, and really discover that? That's one of the things I love about intuitive painting is that it allows us to reclaim all of those repressed, all of those lost parts of ourselves, our psyche, um, that are dying for expression, that are dying to be seen. So my invitation to you is, can you allow yourself to go big? Can you really, you know, allow yourself to, um, to take up space, to be seen, to, to paint big, to live big, right? We're, we've been so conditioned in so many ways to stay small and to not be seen and not to be heard and, um, you know, and it takes vulnerability, right, to go big. It takes putting yourself out there to find your voice. So my invitation is to keep it real, take up space, experiment, play, um, and you know creativity and innovation really require vulnerability. So if you're not willing to be vulnerable and put yourself out there, you know you're never going to experience the truth of who you really are. So that's my invitation for you. It is to go big, to experiment, to play. Um, and it can be simple and safe and easy as fun and sacred as in a painting studio. So join me um, at one of the stops on the Freedom of Expression Tour. I'm going to be in California next week. I'm s uh, not next week, next month. I'm so excited. I'm going to be in Los Angeles June 7th, Saturday, June 7th, for a day retreat at Paint Your Guts Out Studio with my dear friend Montine, who's going to be hosting us. It's an intimate, beautiful space. Um, and there's a few spaces left if you would like to join us in Los Angeles on June 7th. It's from 10 to 5. And then um, the weekend after that, I'm going to be in San Francisco, which is, you know, I was in San Francisco for 10 years in the Bay Area. It's, it's like another home to me. And this studio where I'm going to be teaching on June 14th is actually the original studio where I found this process, which completely changed my life. Um, you know, I was living in the, in, in the Bay Area, I was working in Silicon Valley, I had this big corporate marketing job, and I was bored and unfulfilled, and I went and took a class at the studio, and it completely changed my life, and took me on a wild journey, you know, into the 
creative frontier and I'm so grateful for that. So it's really kind of special and very nostalgic for me to be teaching um, in San Francisco at the Center for Creative Exploration. I'm really honored to be able to teach there and I hope that if you are in the Bay Area or inspired to join me in San Francisco, come join us June 14th um, for a day of painting and I look forward to seeing you in the studio. Lots of love.